All right, what up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Hopping right back into another IRL baseball video. Today, I am going to be reviewing One Star Baseball Bats. This is the first time we are back at the Sandlot in about a year, and it looks better than ever. And if you don't know, this is literally one of the most non-ideal fields to record videos in. You got dogs barking, you got cars driving by, there's ambulances driving by all the time. It's a mess, but that's what makes this field great, okay? What also makes this field great is this incredible backstop. As you can see, structurally, this is the best backstop known to man. It has beautiful angles. It's all bent weird. I don't know how this thing is still standing. No idea, but it's beautiful, okay? And then I know some of you guys think the most important thing for a hitter is having a good batter's box. One of the best I've ever seen, okay? It looks like this hasn't seen water since 2003, and I don't think it has. I mean, look at this. Some scientists out there explain to me how the earth is literally break. But anyways, back to the video. I wanted to see how bad or how good some of these one star rated bats are. The first bat right here doesn't even have a name, okay? It is just a wood bat that I feel like I got kind of screwed on. I thought it was much bigger than this. Uh, let me show you the reviews. So this is apparently a genuine solid beach wood baseball bat, 27 inches. And when I bought this, usually when I play baseball, I swing like a 33 inch bat. So I'm like, oh, this is only six inches shorter. It is way too small. I thought it was gonna be that big of a deal, but my God, that is a tiny bat, but it doesn't matter. Now let's go ahead and look at some of these reviews. Okay, that is the whole point of the video is reviewing one star review bats. Now this person looks angry. It says two out of two bad, wood bat defective and arrived split slash crack. So this poor guy bought a bat thinking he was gonna go become Barry Bonds and it was already broke right out of the packaging. Sorry, buddy. But his review was actually interesting. I ordered this wood bat based on the positive reviews. Did I read something wrong? Apparently. The first bat arrived with wood split due to poor quality control. I returned the defective bat for another second replacement and the replacement was also split. See the photo. Let's take a look at this photo, buddy. Oh, it is split. Well, mine is not split, I don't think. I guess we should open it to make sure it's not split because I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, okay, well, I'm already proving that bad review wrong because I have no splits in the bat. Down here, it looks a little sus, I won't lie, that does not look good, and I'm pretty sure they just glued the uh, the handle or whatever, the knob, to the bat. Like, I'm pretty sure that is just glued in there, so that should be pretty interesting to see how it holds up. This person said, weird pink color. The bat has a weird pink finish on it. I see no pink, okay? Literally none, so. 0 for 2 on the bad reviews. These people are lying, okay? They're lying, but I gotta see something about the performance. Because so far, the reviews are only, it broke before they even used it, and it's pink. We gotta see how it actually performs, people. This person said, your correct size when playing a order. I was in need of some large adult basketball bats. Huh? I don't even know what this guy is saying, or what, but wrong sport, I guess? Basketball bats? I don't know what this guy's doing, but what are we doing? This person said, what I don't like is when they are, is bright sun, it kicks off from the bright sun. What are we, like what are these reviews? <laughs> these people have bad reviews for no reason, okay? Literally none of these reviews even say if it's a good bat. The guy doesn't like what it looks like, the thing was broken and then the sun ruins it. We're gonna test it out, okay? It's always <sighs> gotta get the batting gloves on. Bro, I haven't swung a bat in so long, okay? So if my swing looks bad, don't be hating, but Oh, already off to an incredible start to the video. I tried grabbing the tee and the thing ripped off. Like, what are we freaking doing, bro? This is why I stay inside. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna try this bad boy out. And since I'm afraid this is going to shatter on the first swing, we're gonna start out with blitz balls. All right, first swing in about three years. Okay, line drive right at the middle. That is a home run. Don't even tell me that's not a home run. Let's go. Oh, that, okay, that one might not have been a home run. Oh, yeah. Bro, this is actually feeling pretty good. Again, it's only a blitz ball, so we need to ramp it up a little bit. What is harder than a blitz ball? Actually, it's not harder than a blitz ball. I bought some tennis balls, okay? I thought, thinking about it, I probably should have started with a tennis ball because I feel like that's less hard than a base, whatever. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Smell that. Mmm. Tennis ball. Hopefully this bat doesn't break. Bro. This bat's actually kind of nice, I won't lie. And while I was thinking about the best way to make this video, I decided to get one of the worst rated metal bats on Amazon as well, okay? It is, I think, a little bit shorter than the wood bat. Oh yeah, a little bit shorter, but that doesn't matter, okay? Because you give me a pencil, I'm still driving the baseball, okay? And yeah, this is called the Sen Sen Baseball Bat. Beautiful branding, 
it's better than Nike, Adidas, Marucci. They got their branding on point, okay? I might, I, I might even be saying that wrong. I have no idea. But this one is metal, and the reviews are still terrible. Okay, this bat was actually $26.99, so actually pretty expensive. The wood one, I forgot to say, was actually $30. Bucks, so... Yeah, I probably paid way too much for that, and maybe that's why the reviews are not good. And I know some of you are gonna say, this is for self-defense, but the title says, baseball bat used for baseball and self-defense. So they say, use it for whatever you want. This person said, it's okay. That's just what they said, it's okay. What's interesting is a lot of these one-star reviews, they didn't even write anything. They just left the one star and sent it. They didn't even say why. So it's kind of hard to understand why they left one-star reviews, but I want to read some of the five-star reviews to see why they like it. Oh yeah, this guy left a review that we want to read, all right? He said, this is a very effective self-defense tool. The padding for the grip is nicely designed, providing a bit of thickness, oh wait, no, a bit of tack tackiness, very deep grooves for a firm grip. Balance is very good, with the weight distributed very evenly with a slight heaviness to the business end. A lanyard would be a very nice addition so the bad guy can't easily take it from you to prevent dropping it in a scuffle. That makes me want to go hit a 107,000 foot home run, okay? I don't know why that distance, but it just, it just came to me, okay? But again, I don't plan on using this for self-defense, unless someone comes over here start stalking to me weird. But anyways, we're gonna see how good this works as a bat. Okay, again, I know it's not the most optimal baseball bat to use in a real game, but I'm comparing it to this, I was gonna say cheap wood bat, but that's not even cheap. That's like 30 bucks. That's 10 Chipotle, no wait, no. That's three Chipotle burritos. I was gonna say 10, what the F? Three, okay, that, it's a little bit more reasonable. If I would've spent 10 Chipotle burritos on a bat, I would've legit started crying. All right, again, we're starting out with the blitz ball for obvious reasons, and wham. Was that the bat or the fence? I don't know if that was the bat or the fence that made that screaming noise, but let's try again. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. If you wanna use this as a self-defense weapon, Wep why can I not speak? What the F is going on? But instead of smacking someone across the face with this bat, going to court, fighting, saying, oh, it's self-defense, doing all that stuff, don't even do that. Just get a rock, smack it against the bat, they will not be able to hear, okay? It's like a flashbang in Call of Duty. All right, we're gonna try this with the tennis ball now. It should be a little bit louder, I would think. Let's go. Yeah, this bat is insane. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this bat is screaming, literally. Okay, now that we have a nice little warm up going, all right? I'm feeling good offensively. We are gonna swing the bat against the baseball now. I don't know what's about to happen. I'm not gonna swing 100% because I'm gonna save that for a little bit later. But I just wanna see what it sounds like, what it feels like hitting a normal ball. The no-name wood bat. Okay, this bat is 1,000% gonna shatter the first time I swing as hard as I can. So I'm gonna move to the metal bat because I wanna compare these, okay? This one isn't gonna crack, okay? This is pure steel, baby. You might wanna close your ears for those people. That hurts so bad. As the guy was saying, the thick, tackiness grip sucks. I can't even imagine smacking someone in the leg with this thing. Ow! Let me hit this better. Oh yeah, this is me. Did you get that on tape? Roll the slow-mo. Okay, but yeah, this bat hurts a lot. I didn't even square one of them up, but that's okay. What I want to do is see how far I can hit these baseballs, okay? And how we're going to do this is I don't have a fence, okay? But I have something called the internet. We're going to go to Google Maps, and I am going to show you exactly how far the ball actually goes, okay, via satellite or whatever they do. I don't know, but it is exact, okay? I know some of you guys are like, oh, no way that ball went 225. I'm gonna literally show you from the moon how far it went, okay? Okay, so I think this bat is probably gonna last longer, so we're gonna start with this one. Ah! That center field. Boom. Did you get that good? Let's go, babe. You guys don't know my wife is actually recording this, and she has a history of... <laughs> Not tracking the ball too well, but she's she was shaking her head like she got it good, so hopefully that's a good shot. But now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this on Google Maps to show you exactly how far that went. Now obviously I have to do that after I record, so I don't know how far it went, but let's say it went 196 feet. For every hit, I'm gonna show you the distance on the screen somewhere, but I'm not gonna go through the whole Google Maps thing again, okay, it's gonna take too long. But I'm gonna do it and put the actual distance on the screen. So that went that far. Ow. Ow. Okay, literally the same distance, about a little bit shorter. This literally hurts so bad. Every time you hit it, it feels like your hands are just melting. Makes no sense, but let's get one more swing here. Oh, line drive. Boom! That went way farther than the last few. And the damage of the bat is basically none. There is no dents or anything but the paint on the, uh, 
the logo or whatever is indeed smearing a little bit, so I'm gonna have to leave a negative review. I'm gonna leave one star. Unacceptable, bro. Unacceptable! Okay, now we're gonna go to the more expensive bat, the wood bat. Again, if this thing lasts three swings, I will be shocked, okay? Not even kidding, I will literally cry. Okay. Kinda went not where I wanted it, but I was afraid. No damage. All right, I guess this bat's better than I thought it was, and let's swing even harder. Oh yeah. Well, I think that's the farthest of the day. Still no damage. This bat is working better than I would have ever imagined. Let's get one more swing. Oh my God. I don't know if it's me or the bat, but that is a line shot. 227 is my guess, all right? Could have been farther, shorter, I don't freaking know. We gotta see some velos. Okay, bat number one is gonna be the Sen Sen baseball bat. Oh man. Roll me over. 60, what is that? 69. <laughs> Grow up. 74, 74 is the high. And I am just realizing this bat is kind of hard to square up because it's literally tiny, all right? Literally no barrel, but 74 should be pretty easy to beat with the wood bat. Oh yeah, that's faster already. Yeah. Oh yeah, 85, what? 86, oh, 80. All right, yeah, that wood bat's incredible, bro. And as far as velos go, the wood bat destroyed it again. So it is up two rounds to nothing. For 30 bucks, you actually might be getting a steal, honestly. This bat is incredible. Again, I haven't swung a bat in like a year, probably. And I'm hitting 87 or whatever off the tee, 84, what was it, 84? So 85 was the highest I hit, which is pretty good for that cheap, Pathetic little wood bat. I hit it 85 off the tee, bro. Are you kidding me? But it's up two rounds to nothing and I feel bad. So we got to give the metal bat an advantage here. All right, we're going to see which one's more durable. Okay, so like I said, this next test is going to see how durable it is. Now, a lot of these reviews are kind of saying that this bat is used for self-defense and that's how we're going to use it. Okay, now obviously I'm not going to hit someone with the bat. I'm trying not to go to prison, but I'm going to hit that pole. Okay, that is a steel metal pole but we are going to start with the metal bat because i think this one has the best chance of not destroying okay or getting destroyed we're going to start 30 percent 60 percent and then 100 percent and see what the damage looks like here's 30 percent a little loud and a little damage i'm kind of sad i thought this was going to just destroy it i thought we were going to knock that thing down but that's only 30 percent now we're going to raise it up to 60. i don't know if that is actually 60 percent i'm afraid okay leave me alone but that is the debt. Now I'm gonna swing it a little bit harder and try to do it 100%, but I don't wanna break my hands. This freaking hurts, okay? I feel it in my pinky. I think my pinky fell off and it's just in there because I'm wearing a batting glove. <laughs> Overall, not bad. That might've looked like I barely swung, I don't know, but that hurt a lot. So the metal bat, I think withstood its main purpose, okay? I think it, I think it could do very well in those situations. But now we're gonna go to the wood bat, okay? The wood bat, again, outshine the metal bat and everything baseball related. But for the final test, can it withstand a metal soccer goal pole? Can't speak still, I'm sorry. That hurt a lot, I won't lie. That actually hurt my top hand that time. I think that's less damage than the metal bat, just saying. I think I swung as hard, I don't know. But the dent, way less than the metal one, so. I gotta give it one more swing here. I guess try to break my hand and see what happens. As far as pain goes, that one's way worse. <gasps> my hand's stuck like this now. So the first one was my bottom hand and that was my top hand. So I guess that's good. But uh, yeah, that's the biggest dent right there. That's the first one, that's the second one, and then that's the third one. So I think the metal bat just sucks. I think this wood bat is actually way better than I would have ever thought, okay? Well, there you go, people. That is my first IRL baseball video in a very long time, okay? It's so hot. I'm trying to build a batting cage at my house, okay? If I get it done, I'm not kidding you, it will be the most incredible thing ever. And if I do it, I'm gonna make a series out of it, I think, and let me tell you, bro, it will be the best investment of my life. So let me know in the comments if I should actually build a batting cage. If I do, more IRL videos, better IRL videos. It's just gonna be insane, okay? So let me know if I should do that and document it on YouTube. And if you want more IRL videos leading up to when I get this cage built, let me know as well. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see and let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm going wood bat all day, but I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.